What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna have a fun video. Today we're gonna be doing our first couple of mods, well really like three mods to our brand new Mustang. Today we're gonna be adding some Mach 1 GT500-ish styling with help from MP Concepts. So this is not a sponsored video by any means. So what I say in this video, the fitment, the quality, everything is gonna be like my own thoughts. Anyway, I digress. Truthfully, I kind of wanted to wait to do this before we did the wheels from Variant. We're gonna be working with Variant wheels on something really spicy for this car that's supposed to be delivered in a couple of days but i decided to go ahead and just throw this on because i mean why not i'm impatient anyway but speaking of variant wheels guys so if you want to save a ton of money on variant wheels for your s550 trucks any kind of car you got out there they got flow form they've got forge they have like the sky's the limit use promo code xander13 or use the links down below in the description save a ton of money and if you use that code really cool that you're not going to be able to get anywhere else is you're going to get free ceramic coating on your wheels it's like a three or four hundred dollar value for free also free shipping and you're going to get wheel cleaner for free and you're going to get a three year road hazard warranty on your variant wheels so if you curb one crack one something bad happens three years of free replacement anyway all you got to do is use promo code xander13 at checkout or the links down below anyway on with the video we're gonna start with look at this beautiful white oxford white this thing is so gorgeous yes these wheels are gonna be changing cannot wait a couple of more days a couple more videos for you guys so make sure that you are subscribed because you're not gonna want to miss what we put on this car but we have a mach 1 inspired kind of front lip here that's gonna be a lot more aggressive than what comes on these cars from factory let's take a closer look here so i believe that MP Concepts uses Ford CAD data to actually uh make these this textured black plastic here is like the same as oem everything is already pre-drilled they give you all the hardware instructions everything like that so then we have the rear diffuser which is very reminiscent of the mach 1 and the newer gt500 to include some of this honeycomb here i kind of wish it was all flat black but if you have ever seen a newer mach 1 in person it's the same deal these are made exactly the same i mean if we had a ford piece right next to this one i don't know that i would honestly be able to tell a difference anyway and then after that we're going to go to bowling green we're going to get the windows tinted and then we're going to do a walk around at the end of the video to see how everything has come together and it might look a little interesting with the back since we have factory exhaust but corsa is sending us some goodies so i cannot wait for that because you know that we are team corsa here let's get to modding let's install some goodies and make this thing look just a little bit more fancy with some Mach 1 inspired parts. Let's go. So truthfully, I'm gonna give it like a nine, 9.5 out of 10. You have to kind of struggle on the sides to uh, kind of like squeeze this in to get the holes to line up. But honestly, other than that, I mean, pretty much the fitment is dead nuts on with OEM. This looks so much better. All right, let's get the glamour shot here. A little bit closer to the ground. Looks a lot better. One more over here. Yes, sir. All right, so. Looks good. Let's flip the car around and do the rear valance, which is going to take a little bit more effort, but this is about a 20 minute install for the front lip, honestly. All right, so honestly more scary than it seems just getting uh, the thing unclipped, but I mean, this actually might be easier than the front lip, but anyway, all we really have to do now is basically just put it back together. I think this is gonna be a big step in the right direction as far as the cosmetic look of the car. The direction we, I think, are going with is some of that GT500 Mach 1 theme styling going on, but uh, all right, let's quit rambling. Let's transfer some stuff over here and then throw it on the car and see how it looks.
Right, guys we are here days later since we've had the window tent done and it is time we gotta hurry because we got some nasty weather coming in but it is time to get out here and take a look a once over of how everything turned out with the tent rear diffuser and the front splitter from mp concepts let's go out here and take a spin because i think that you'll like the direction that we're going with the car look at them clouds boy it's coming all right hopefully wind doesn't kill us so here we go of course these wheels getting changed very soon just got the tracking number on the new variant wheels guys so excited and you're not going to want to miss what we're doing but this is how it all came together first time i've ever done a front windshield and uh makes it look all like blacked out looks really good but that is definitely definitely attractive love the direction of the build so far so pretty girthy yeah it sticks out just a little bit here so i may also do the mp concepts uh rocker panels like we did on the mach 1 uh that'll look probably pretty good but anyway the rear of course we have exhaust to do as well and this will look a lot better but this is the gt 500 mach 1 style rear valance and once we get exhaust back here, it's gonna look a lot better. But I think that it looks really good. Again, very, very impressed with the fitment of the MP Concept stuff. Not a sponsored thing for me to say. I just really like the way that it fit. It's basically just like Ford OEM. But this is it, guys. I'm also thinking about painting the calipers and I need some help. Should we do red? Should we do blue? Should we do another color? No green, uh, no yellow. But uh, let me know in the comments when we do the wheels and everything, you know, I think that we need the calipers to stand out just a little bit more. But this is it. This is how everything has turned out so far. So but anyway, guys, that's going to conclude today's video. Get ready for what's coming in the future. We still got to do kind of like an on-camera first drive. Talk about like why the Mustang, how much it cost and how much did it finance, all that good stuff. Also the direction of the build and including in that conversation power adder because something is already being built for us. So we do want to discuss got some direction uh, to let you we do want to give away some secrets I guess but anyway we want to have that conversation um, because this is going to be a pretty crazy build just like we always do on the channel but I love the Oxford white it is completely grown on me that's the video God bless all of you have a great day and remember if you were not subscribed and you made it to this point in the video I mean why not it's free but get ready for the next ones coming up and I'll see you next time goodbye